Hey everyone, I'm Krister from the Stargeek YouTube channel, taking over for Alex in today's episode of Star Wars Explained. 1983 marked the end of the original Star Wars trilogy with Return of the Jedi. General interest in the series was quickly declining, and with no more films, Kenner was having trouble selling the leftover figures in their Star Wars line. As a solution, Lucasfilm partnered with Nelvana Limited, the same company that made the animated segment in the holiday special, to produce two cartoon programs set in a galaxy far, far away. The first series was called Ewoks, and focused around Wicket and his Ewok friends on Endor. The second series was called Droids, The Adventures of R2-D2 and C-3PO. The programs aired in September of 1985 under the joint title, The Ewoks and Droids Adventure Hour. Droids followed 3PO and R2 on their journeys with ownership under three different masters in sets of four episode storylines. In the first set of episodes, we meet Fall Jobin, a speeder racer who gets entangled with the Fromm crime gang. The second storyline follows Jan Tosh, a farm boy looking to get into the Imperial Academy. The final master we see the droids with is Mungo Baobab, a treasure hunter set on finding the magical rune stones. The droids have several run-ins with familiar characters, such as Boba Fett, the Max Rebo Band, and IG-88, along with many original characters as well. In November of 1985, the final episode, The Frozen Citadel, capped off the first and only season of droids. Ewoks was renewed for a second season, but the adventures of C-3PO and R2-D2 appeared to have met their end. Luckily for fans of the show, Star Wars sound designer Ben Burtt arrived in 1986 to write a final episode to the series. A prequel episode set right before the Mungo Baobab storyline titled The Great Heap proved to be the pinnacle of the show's success. The Kenner toy line died off with the end of the show, and the only traces left of the series were a few cobbled together VHS tapes of a handful of episodes. Droids may have met with little praise or success, but there are many dedicated fans who love to see their favorite droid duo in trouble again. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked learning about this obscure 80s cartoon. If you want more videos on Star Wars lore, make sure you subscribe to Star Wars Explained. And if you want to check out my own YouTube channel, Stargeek, you'll find fun facts, top 10 lists, reviews, and much more Star Wars goodness. I even have a review of the Droid series, which I will be continuing soon. Today, Alex took over for me on Stargeek, giving you 5 fun facts about Mace Windu. Thanks again, everyone, and may the Force be with you.